we're starting unit six. Um, or we've been in unit six, but uh, we're looking at lesson five, which is find a percent of a number. So in other words, if I said that t-shirt's 30% off and the t-shirt's $38, like you'll be able to find out how much money you get to save on that purchase. So write down your title. And let's start writing out some notes as we go. So Lauren bought a jacket that was on sale. She paid 40% of the original price of $75. How much did Lauren pay for the jacket? So you can see someone chose to draw this grid, which will help us a lot in this problem. But in most problems, you're not going to draw one of these out. I think it just won't help. Um, but can you figure out what I would count by to get all the way up to 100. Like if I count by 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, and I can't just jump to 100. So what would I count by? 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So we were counting by 10, or by 20, sorry. So we think of the same thing up here. What would we count by to get to 75? Well, there's one, two, three, four, five sections. So you can really just do 75 divided by five. If you do that, it's 15. So that tells me I count by 15. 15, 30, 45, 60, 75. So she paid 40% of the original price. How much did Laura pay for the jacket? So she ended up paying 40%. She ended up paying $30 for the jacket. So my extra question is, is how much money did she save? Well, if you had to pay 100%, but you saved or you, you only paid 40, that means 60% was off, right? So that you paid only 40%. So if 60% was the discount, she got to save $45. Pretty good deal on a product. It's more than half off or more than 